Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, the Iowan Adventures, a uh, world created and ruled by the Fae. I'm Jessica, also go by I Sneeze Stars online in places like TikTok or Instagram, and I will be your shenanigan sovereign for this evening. Uh, quickly, I will run you through our games, and then I will let my party take this over. Um, okay, so our games, obviously, tonight. The Iowan Adventures, tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m. EST, we have the State of uh, blah, 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 blah. We have State of the Union, a Shadowrun campaign, DM'd by at Cottlesworth, um, with myself and Daniel in it. Uh, Thursday nights, we have the Lost Continent at 8 p.m. Uh, EST. And Friday nights, we have the Legends of Kralis at uh, 11 p.m. EST, a TTRPG created and uh, GM'd by uh, Talarius Game Master. And Saturday nights, we have um, my new game, which is the Moonstone Matriarchy uh, at 8 p.m. EST. Okie dokie. Somebody, somebody take it away. Anyone. Somebody. Somebody do the talking? Somebody talk. Yes, somebody talk, not me. Hi, I'll, I'll tag myself in. Hello, Internet. Uh, I'm James. Uh, you can find me as Mazrix or Mazrix24 pretty much throughout the Internet. Uh, most notably here, uh, <laughs> as I play um, <clears throat> Arum de Azark, our Circle of Stars druid, who is currently in hell trying to convince his demon boyfriends not to kill everyone around us. Um... And that's pretty much it for me. Um, if I'm not role-playing, you'll probably find me shoving a chip in my mouth. Uh, and let's see who else is a fellow snacker. Uh, Caro, I've seen you snack. You're up next. I have indeed snacked. I'm not currently snacking. I'm currently stitching. Um, but I am Caro. Hello. Uh, you can find me at Imaginary Caro around the internet. And I will be playing Gilly Glane, our barbarian um, water genasi golden retriever. Uh, Daniel. Hi, everybody. I'm Dan. You can find me as The Speed of Candy on all of the various internet places. Tonight, I'll be playing Damascus Silver, the half-elf bard warlock, who... Uh, big monster. A big monster! <laughs> he wants to smash it. That's How? all. <laughs> Stop hurting yourself. Uh, I, I hit the wound! No, oh, no. not the wound! Oh. Hi, everybody. To hit. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Pyrea. Uh, you can find me on all socials as, as Pyrea. Um, I'm going to be a Lewin Alanthus, the chronology wizard. And um, yeah, I, I. We can't. can't I don't. W casting fireball on this thing probably isn't going to work, even though I would just really <laughs> like War. to. Anyway. Pokemon rules <laughs> apply. Maybe. We'll find out. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. It'll work. Uh, I'll bounce it back to James to do uh, our recap. Perfect. You know, I, I'm definitely down for checking Pokemon logic, especially if this is like Pokemon anime logic, where it's my moment. Right. I'm a water Pokemon. <laughs> you are a water Pokemon. <laughs> and does I... all of Caro's attack? Does all of Gilly's attacks do double damage? We should. We'll find out. Be super we'll see. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm definitely excited. I mean, it's the jokes are already made, but as far as Pokemon types go, a rev is probably fairy type. <laughs> <laughs> or grass type, maybe. No, I, I was thinking fairy I type just because of all like the stars and the moonlight, and that's very fairy type in game. It has nothing to do ethereal. with the other reason. <laughs> <laughs> nothing at all. Um Yeah, it's definitely the circle of stars. Okay. Recap time, and I'm gonna read it so that I don't mess it up. And <clears throat> here you go, Internet. Just like my little intro video for the channel, the glasses go on. <clears throat> Last time on Iowan Adventures, episode 74, The Skull of Zizros. As always, the Fated Few, who have once again become the Fated Five, continued their adventures in the Pain Dimension, a variant of Hell, and the misadventures hidden there where they found a doppelganger not really, of their once bosom but forgotten companion, the powerful enchantress, Alewin Elanthris. I'm proud of that one. I just... That was a good one. Thank you. Uh, as well as the newly named Vic Strixen, formerly known as Prince. I mean, the cunning. <laughs> yeah. 
A lot of things happened, but notably, Gilly ate some candy. This is important. You'll find out why later. Uh, and Arev gave out his plot of being drunk to rifle through the Cunning's bedroom as his hand got bitten by a squirrel in a drawer. Uh, after a bit of flirting, however, Arev is reminded that he is still indebted to the Cunning and will be called on to fulfill it soon. Spooky. Enemus, Elewin's mentor's soul. I know that's complicated. Stay with me. Who is alive and present here, even though not alive elsewhere, gets stored inside of a ring of Ixtrixons. Another ring gets thrown to the ground and is somehow a portal to somewhere. Like, how many rings does this does this dude have? Like, I just want to like he's decked out in jewelry. I just well, I want to take all of the rings. Uh, yeah. But we go through the portal. There is more than suitably described a pit of terror full of dark, hot lava vibes and skulls embedded in the walls since uh, I'm going with ever because time doesn't exist. Uh, we get attacked, but all you need to know about the entire attack is Damascus burned his nipples off and that's how we won. <laughs> uh, it's very, very important. Um, Arev pumped... A a lot of magic into Vix, um, healing him with vapor rub. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> but he plays it off coolly. We see a leg on the floor behind a throne, and we discover a chained Renanel, who Rev also heals, uh, flying into his starry form of the chalice and bringing the two palm chalice tattoos that he has to Renanel's face. Uh, Vic Strixen is all over Renanel with kisses. I'm told it was very cute. Because, like, I, I mean, a rev's like in the moment, like, it's got to be the outside. Observer. I'm just, I, to me, it was cute, but I'm also told it was very cute. My notes specifically say it's cute, so yes. it must have been perfect. Uh, with a bit of bardic inspiration, a rev is reminded that he can druid craft a certain flower that means something very special between him and Renanel. And as he does this, Damascus becomes aware of a massive shift in the lava as a hulking form raises out of the lava itself, menace radiating from the form. Perhaps Zeros himself, which we're about to find out. Dum dum dum. dum, dum, dum. So, I forgot about the nipple thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone wants to. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh God. So, Zeros steps out of the lava. His thick legs. And in powerful two-toed clawed feet. And you can see the red glow of molten lava coursing through the veins, through his veins, just underneath the surface of his skin. A large golden a large gold belt with green gems at the center adorn his waist. And at his head, a crown a crown, massive with two thick horns that protrude from it between his horns is yet another green gem almost like a third eye he wears tattered he wears a tattered red i can't speak today long skirt that hangs down to his ankles adding to his very menacing appearing appearance for fuck's sakes Look, uh, I'm just glad that's where you were going because you stopped at the and I thought you were going to say tattered. I thought you were going to say tattered. No, long. Cloth. It was. I was going to continue. Another long oh, I can't word. I can't word. Uh, he has a long, sinuous tail and bat-like wings that spread out from his back, um, kind of almost giving him this permanent shadow. Like, so he's got the wings that come out and then, like, they're over top of him. He's always, like, in this, per- like, perma shadow underneath it. Um, adding to, like, his imposing presence. Uh, in his hand, a massive mace. Clearly capable of delivering devastating blows. And I think you're about to find out. What do you do? Yay. Have we uh, reached? Have we're, we're not in initiative order yet, right? Not how, yet. Sorry, I was going to ask how close he is, but we have a map. Um, you see the map? Am I dumb? Yes, yes she is. Right map. Here. Oh, okay. Sorry, I had to scroll out. Hold on. 
Um, hello, he is. He's Thank 45 you, Dan. Feet away. 45 feet away. 45 feet, give or take. Is it worth trying to make friends with this fellow? I was, that's exactly what I was about to try and do. <laughs> oh, okay. Is it worth trying well. to talk about it? <laughs> well, you can um, try. You can, you can see... Um, Elaine hasn't done anything yet, but you can see that there's um, this like rich golden energy starting to swirl around her fingers as she's like taking a couple of steps towards um, the direction of their uh, their new not friend, possible friend. <laughs> <laughs> and she <laughs> clock, big scary monster, go. <laughs> well, sorry to interrupt your bath. I didn't mean to intrude. But uh, we may have misplaced something. We were just looking for it. No harm, no foul. We'll get out of your hair. You don't have hair, technically. But we'll get out of your wings without any further ado. You see him shift from foot, from foot to foot for a second. Straighten his, uh, straighten his, like, helmet just a little bit and go, Sure. Just leave the demons. Arev moves a little bit for a, he's kind of a shiny, glowy beacon of starlight right now, and it's very <laughs> not very noticeable. But he's just gonna position himself in front of the two demons. See, not necessarily like get up. I think I'm still like kind of like kneeling on the ground. I'm just shimmy shaking myself. Just just, you know, five foot forward, put myself in a direct line in front of them. You step in front of them, and Sosros almost looks like he can't contain a grin. Just, just for a second, his cor- the the corner of his lips twitches up. You found more people to die for you, the Strixen. Of that. <laughs> I wouldn't say that for him is the, the plan we're going with here. I'd, oh, the... Much as I'd love to leave him behind, I got no love lost for those two. I don't know them from Jack. They are right out of here, so we kind of do need to take them with us. It's the main issue, so we got no beef with you. We could just call it a deal and go our separate ways. What do you say? Do we know why he took Brennanelle? You have not asked. We're just sort of okay. You have not Listen, asked. if this is like a conflict between you and uh, the cunning over there, it seems like you've perhaps made your point. Um, maybe we resolve this in some other way other than kidnapping. And I mean, we could serve as mediators. <laughs> it the, the cunning just kind of leans back and almost over to you. Gilly and goes, it's not going to work. I slept with his wife. What? The magic around Elewin's, uh hands <laughs> falls. It like disappears and she like looks back. It you you was... what? I slept with his wife. Feels like a situation uh, we the... might need to make you solve then rather than the whole dying for you. It feels like a situation of your own making. Probably, <laughs> mm, probably yes. He's like twelve feet tall. So is his wife twelve feet tall, or and you were just shifted? Oh, it's important uh, questions. Uh, change, change. That makes sense. I was going to say that poor lady <clears throat> shifted. Yeah. Uh, so well. Anywho. I don't suppose you have a wife you can sleep with? No. I have Renan. I don't suppose you can shape shape Renan now? Mm-hmm. Call it even? Mm-hmm. Damn it. Well, I'm out of ideas. What if we all go and the cunning here makes you figure something else out because Renanel being here is not not apples to apples here. Yeah. Yeah, not not the same thing. 
if anything, he's also sort of a victim of the situation. Yes. I mean, from a certain perspective, I would say that uh, the the Strixen over there, whatever his name is, really, he did you a favor by showing you that your wife maybe ain't the right one for you, that it wasn't meant to be, so that you can go off and find the the demon. Don't you talk that way about her. (laughs) (laughs) As he pounds his hand with his mace. All right. Maybe she just went happy in the relationship and you gotta... Do they have, like, couples counseling down here? I gave her everything! (laughs) Maybe that's the problem. I think you two yeah. crazy kids can work this out, uh, <laughs> but you probably need to like move on from the situation. My move friend, past it, friend. Take it, take it from someone who knows. Sometimes when you're trying too hard, it comes off as a little needy, and you know, women don't always like that sort of thing. You want to play a little hard to get. Just to keep the mystery there to keep the the romance. This timeline. <clears throat> oh, this timeline. I'm going to roll to Dem- see how he, he takes this. Okay. Damascus, did you just give dating advice to a demon who we know's wife slept with another man? I mean, uh, I'm surprisingly, he looks at you and goes, Thanks for the advice. You know, because uh, he rolled. He, Low was no, high was yes, and he was like, "Yeah, thank, thank you." Some things are universal. Well, <laughs> maybe I'll I'll kill you last. <laughs> I need to yeah, just something <laughs> towards you guys. For all for initiative. No, the We're only try. The only problem, Damascus, with that plan that this uh, Zuzrus fellow seems to think that. He has of finding more people to die for him. There's really only a plan if we die. My thoughts exactly. And I don't plan uh, to die today. A ref. Give me your your initiative. Sure. I would love to. Uh <clears throat> that would be an 11. <laughs> 11. What, okay. Because what I was going to say is that if he's like following this, I don't plan to die today, I was going to like take an action pre combat that was aggressive. I don't know whether you'll let me do that or whether I need to fall into initiative. I already asked you to roll for initiative before you did that. Fair. Yeah. No, that's okay. Damascus. 18. What is it that you wanted to do? Uh, f- <laughs> what's phases? Uh, six. What- what I had in mind was that when I was saying, like, I don't plan to die today, I was going to stand up, shifting into my starry archer form, and literally just, like, let out two radiant bolts, just, like, no. arcing across the lava pit. Nah, I already asked you to do that. Uh, That's pie. Fair. yeah. 16. 16. Did I not put you in here? I didn't. I'll add you after. Hang on. Whoops. Uh, Gilly. 22. 22. Hey. Winter. 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 Yes. Yeah, I apologize. Sorry, I was reading chat. Um, plus dex. 18. 18. We already have an 18. Who has the higher dex? Uh, Damascus or Winter? Oh, probably Damascus. Uh, Damascus has uh, plus three. Okay, yeah. He'll go then. And we have a Strixen who will go one under you. Okay. Yes. Add another combat combatant. What have I done? I'm touching things. I don't know what I'm touching. I'm breaking things, Daniel. I'm breaking things. It'll be fine. There we are. There you are. Like a bird. I gotta add you back to the yes, the I Iowan mean. or the Iowan party. Cause that's where I just grab everyone from. Oh, mm. okay. Let's uh, let's that's a big fella. Let's yeah. start with Gilly. <laughs> cool. 
，不过错。<laughs> okay, what are we gonna do? We're not gonna. I always go to summon Otto first, and I can't do this. I know this makes me sad. I will rage though.、Hey. That seems appropriate for the situation. Okay, where's my wild magic table? <laughs> oh shit!、Sorry. Hang on. Wait.、Uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, within twenty for. Okay, go ahead. You're good. You're not. Yeah,、okay. you're not there yet. Oh, good. There's a thing. Yeah. Okay. We got a seven today. Oh, flowers and vines temporarily grow around me until my rage ends. The ground within fifteen feet of me is difficult terrain for my enemies. Nice. That's something.、Hey. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Okay. And then I'm gonna use my new thing. I'm gonna use. Actually, wait. How far away is this guy? Forty-five、uh, feet. Forty-five feet. Okay, I think that's well, sixty-five feet from you. Okay, I'm gonna travel a little bit forward then. <laughs> I love fucking Ray in here, just fucking handing out a verdict to the DM as well. Thirty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Am I close enough to do anything? Let's find out. I'm not close enough to do that. Hold on, how far can I throw my trident? <laughs> I don't throw that thing enough. If you get a net one, it's going into the lava. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> it's he's right、What? there. If you get a net one, that's he's going, I mean, going into the lava. Fair. That's that、I、is、mean. so high stakes.、Yeah. Um, <laughs> I can throw it sixty feet. Okay. Well. Nothing ventured, nothing gains. I'm gonna throw my trident、oh. at this fella. Hey, <laughs> we live large.、It. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Um, it was not a. It was not a night、oh. one. <laughs> oh, wait. What is bardic inspiration? Did we do that before? Or、uh, after it's a D six. You can add it to uh, not to I. It's not to hit though. I think it's for everything else. Okay, that's not worth it anyways. Well, we'll try with the second attack. Oops. Let's. Oh my God, guys! I just rolled two eights in a row, so. So that's that's that. All、better、right. Better than a nat one. I assume. <laughs> better that, than a nat one. Much better than a nat one. So my trident is just like sitting over on the ground near this fella,、oh. somewhere. And Gilly is embarrassed. <laughs> you hit him, but he like he like deflects.、Uh, it. Bounce. No,、off. you didn't hit There him. You sorry, you, but like he like def- it, he deflects it. I'm not gonna have it go into. Yeah, ah,、uh, melted down into a puddle.、Mm, not yet, Damascus. Damascus will. Ah,、uh, how far away am I from the guy? Ooh, perfect. Um. Man, I wish pushing him into the lava actually did something, but I、right? know he's immune. Right? He just swim back out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I spent all my days here, bitch. <laughs> It's a hazard for us and not for him. So then, so it's not gonna do anything. I'm really good at doing a lot of damage to a big group of people, but one dude alone, I'm like, I got Eldritch Blast. That's, <laughs> That's fair. I'm、like going... I have one move. <laughs>、yeah. I will cast Radiant Hex on him, which is my version of Hex. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna hit him three times with an Eldritch Blast as I, I'm not gonna completely close the distance, but I want to kind of get myself a little closer to up beside Gilly right here. Uh, I make three attacks. I just. Point my sword at him, and like a beam of light just shines on him as he's radiated with hex. I'm gonna say he has disadvantage on, let's say, strength checks.、That's、okay. The, I, attribute I'm hexing. Right,、um, and then the three beams just come shooting out these like basically butterfly infused laser beams that just blast towards him.、Um, I'm not gonna do repelling blast because I don't want him to fly backwards. We got. Wow, I am not fucking kidding you. Three twos. 
<laughs> no. I have to take a picture no. of that. I have never rolled that bad. Three fucking twos. Um, What's with the yeah. consecutive identical low numbers? Yeah, right? I'm guessing 12s weird. don't hit? No. No, 12s okay. don't cool. hit. Cool. That's my turn. I just walk forward and go, well, it looks like we're doing this the hard way. And they all just go flying off in random directions. Amazing. That... <laughs> looks like you really do need Bellas guidance. Normally that works. <laughs> Let's shake my sword. <laughs> Mom. Uh, Winter's turn. Okay, so Winter is going to oh, he's so far away, and Paladins are so, aren't so good with the magic magic blasty over distancy. Nope. I haven't told him. Uh, haven't gotten him to be a warlock yet. <laughs> Just everyone will be less a warlock. That's that's it. We'll just become the faded warlock. It's useful. Let's it. make a bunch of pacts. Yeah. Right. Just force Jess to throw balance out the window with <laughs> Eldritch Lust every turn. Don't worry. I'll just get creative with how I make monsters. <laughs> <laughs> force immunity. Okay. Sorry. I'll stop blathering. Um. I think. He's just going to do that thing that he does, uh, and he's going to go walk 5, 10, 15. He's going to walk basically up right between Damascus and Gilly. Okay. And he is going to ready an action. So he, right. he's basically going to ready his action to swing out with his hammer uh, should the pit fiend come within range. All right. Sounds good. Um, I'll lay one. Um, he hasn't moved at all. Uh, does he go after me? He does. Okay. Um, I am going to ready my reaction for when he uh, makes any kind of movement, when he goes to make an attack or goes to cast a spell. Any kind of hostile at all that I can see him do, I'm going to um, ready my reaction. Okay. Um, and and then turn. it will be Renanel's turn. And he, why do I feel like this would be a thing? Uh, he, <laughs> I definitely feel like he would get up to go fight and then just get in trouble from by the Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. He is. He is the least beefy of all of you. Uh, and I'm gonna say because I don't want him running out on his own because he will immediately die. That that is exactly <laughs> no. what happens. Oh. <laughs> he would immediately die. Like he would just get murdered. Um, Sit down. He gets up to go and and fight and just gets grabbed by Vestrixen and just thrown backwards. Like you sit, you sit over there. Um, a rev. Hello. He's so, so small now. I will continue what I was hoping to do beforehand, which is everybody starts <laughs> everybody starts going up and I'm like talking and then everybody's like running away while I'm talking and I'm just like, wow, okay, sure. <laughs> and then I like your monologue. Exactly. <laughs> and um I switch over at the start of my turn as a free action into my starry form of the archer. So the chalice tattoos on my hands fade as the arrow behind my eye uh becomes luminescent. Um, and, um, uh, I just reach up and I touch the tip of the arrow with a single finger, drawing out a radiant bolt into my palm, unleash, uh, Amelia's bow. And I put the palmed radiant bolt at the tip, pull it back to create a radiant arrow, um, flavorfully as I attack, uh, as with my archer's bonus action to, 
just launch like a, a radiant bolt as a bonus action. Um, and then I will follow that as an action of guiding bolt to try and give hey. like the next person advantage. So two very pretty glittery arrows going to arc across this area. I, oh, it's like I'm 60 feet, right? 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30, 35, 40. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Um, so I just got to mark off that I'm using one of my free guiding bolts. And all right, let's make some attacks. Uh, I want the glittery dice. I'm going to take my more glittery rainbowy dice for the relevance. Oh, uh, shit. No, neither. 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 Hit. <laughs> yeah. Neither are going to hit. That was a natural one and a natural oh. four. No. Oh, I don't oh, suck. Oh. Yo. <laughs> I mean, he's, okay. he's like thrown off his rhythm. He's Ugh. he's like getting annoyed. and he's he's like doing this thing and like launching these arrows, and they just kind of like sail right past Damascus's ears. Just like he hears like not a sizzling, but this like soft effervescent whistling that's kind of like a a beautiful sort of start song, and probably way too close as it fizzles into the lava lava in front of him. Hair a little bit. Well. <laughs> Le- leaves a trail of glitter on his face. Alaywin, do your thing. Sweet. Um, the second she sees this guy move, uh, you're gonna see that glittery gold magic appear again around her hand, and she's gonna cast um, temporal shunt. And I need a wisdom saving throw from him. Wisdom saving throw. Let's do this. You gotta be. Are you hair? Oh, he's not bad at it. I would I would assume, but like they're not bad Maybe. at anything. I was thinking he was gonna be good. I just assumed that all of his stats were good, and I'm like, they are fingers crossed. Fingers 20. crossed. Fuck him. Uh, <laughs> damn. Uh, that'll that'll do. That's it. That's yeah. a that's a that's nitpicky it. piece of information. <laughs> uh you notice he seems to be fairly resistant to magic in general. So he rolls with advantage for all of these things. Great. I hate him. Wonderful. Yep, 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 yep. And then he's going to look at you guys clustered up so nicely. And uh, he blows this firewall into his hand as he launches his at it launches it at you all. I'm and so I'm glad gonna I used my reaction. Deck saving throws. Can I use a cast counter spell? You're playing her. Phase a cast counter spell. Okay. Uh, oh, that was you a statement, to... not a question. Okay. Well, you, you said it as a question. <laughs> like a question, yeah. <laughs> it sounded very questioningly in a soft voice. It was like, phase a cast. Can she? Uh, yes. So it goes out. Um, And you ah. see him grumble. Ah. And uh, I think he's going to he's gonna charge you. And he's going to run up here so that he can get closer to you and just do damage with his fists. Uh, 15, him. 20, 25, 30. What's up, guys? Um, Let's do that. Uh, it's this Strixen's turn after that. I can't talk today. My jaw is just like, you don't want to open. Um, And Strixen's not fucking around right now. Really? So what is he going to do? Let's see here. He's Put him in a to... bubble. Put him in a Sorry. bubble. Uh, he's going to. He's going to. He's going to. He's going to. He can either. He can either attack or cast something. I can't talk. Um, I'm gonna say he's gonna attack because he knows this guy. So, as bonus action, a go back can turn in. How? What do you? What? What would you say the amount of of like just jewelry Zazros might be wearing? A lot. Because I feel like, I feel like he's definitely he's... with all the ju- with all the jewels and all of that. Yeah, I mean, he feels if he's like in, a fancy man. If he's in direct competition to to the cunning, he's probably decked out in the most gaudy jewelry, head to toe, just to be like, I'm richer than you are. Good point. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm thinking. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. It's not damage. Okay, so it's not. A lot, but it would stay there and do do stuff every turn. Let's see here. Hands. 
Farms. I'm sorry. Am I reading this wrong? I'm going to send this to you, Daniel, Daniel, and you tell me how this actually works, because I don't know. Is it, sh- do you want me to just look up the Pit Fiends thing? Just? No, it's not the Pit Fiend. Okay. Yes. Um, based on where you moved the icon, does that mean that he moved within five feet of winter? Yes, you can definitely use your Ooh. attack there. Uh, here. Catch. See that, Daniel. I said you something. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Hell yeah. Uh, someone, Someone's attacking. It does a 28 hit. <laughs> yes. Yes, it does. Good. Cool. Um... I only readied an attack, so I will not smite, because I did not say that I would. Um, but I will. You two... can smite if, as long as you hit, you can smite. Hell yeah! Oh, even if I just just ready like a normal melee swing, yeah. I can still because you don't have to call it out. Well, then he's gonna he he's he's gonna just nope this guy because um, he's charging right in and he doesn't like how close he's getting to the rest of the group so winter's gonna pump a second level smite into this so i need um 1d10 plus a bunch of d8 oh no it's 1d10 1d8 because of the radiant stuff And then it at a second level smite against this fella would be forty eight because it's like a fiend or it's uh, one of those he, things that that gets extra damage from smites, right? Um. Well, it doesn't say here that he doesn't have like it doesn't say that he has any. He gets extra damage from any of that. Oh no! It's a, it's the, the the smite wording. Uh, oh, smites deal oh, one, one okay, extra d eight yeah, against. He is a fiend. Oh, fiend. perfect. Okay, so Sorry. yeah, so then it's forty eight. <laughs> Um, extra. So let's just do the the forge hammers damage first, which is uh. You can add it all together. Oh, so like radiant doesn't do anything extra. Cool. No. Nope. So uh, to a seven, so seventeen. Are you good? Sorry, yeah, I just um I lost the dice. That's all. Yeah. Uh, Twenty seven plus six is uh, thirty three. Okay. Nice. Finally, we do some damage. Uh, is that his? Yeah, that that's that's all you have for that. So it's Vistrickson's turn. Um, you saw Dan. Yeah. So well, how does that work? Uh, basically, he picks one piece of jewelry on a creature. Mm-hmm. Uh, depending on where it is, something different happens. Uh, they have to make a wisdom saving throw, no matter what, to not take the damage. And then if they fail the wisdom save, they get another save, depending on where it was, for an additional oh. effect. Gotcha. Okay. I wasn't sure how that was working there. Okay, so we can... Oh, that's but where such is the jewelry that this thing is wearing? It's a low... D- it's like, it's DC 15. Do we take it? Or We're going to see. We're going to have them try. Let's let's do the thing. Um, let's see wisdom. Okay, he he rolled a twenty. It doesn't matter. Uh, so he'll take half damage, I think, right? Uh, oh, yes. I don't half think damage. so. Oh yeah, to have the damage. Yep, he takes half damage, da, 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 which is three d eight piercing damage. Yeah. Uh, so he rolls seventeen, and then half of that. And then I think there's no other effects if he passes. No. Uh, that's sad it's okay it still did something uh and that's his turn i'm gonna have it's now phase of turn um, what, what are you doing sir what are you doing i'm uh, just checking something the, the stream's being weird you're weird yes i'm aware okay uh phase of will What's Faisa doing? God damn it. There are... I mean... 
Phase is going to cast. Uh, she's gonna try and beef up the front line. Eh, no, she's not. There's a big fucking demon. She's gonna try and kill the big fucking demon. Uh, she's Fair. gonna cast disintegrate on the big. Ooh, fuck it, yeah. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I'm try. The amount of times I wanted to cast that spell and I've never cast it. If ever cast <laughs> disintegrate on the big thing, we'll see if it works. I wish that Damascus had ca- had used his minus whatever thing first, but whatever. <laughs> Uh, Let's so go. that's a deck save, yeah. That is a deck save. Let me check to see if she can do anything to like beef this thing up. Uh, she cannot. Yeah, deck save. That twenty. Silvery barbs. Damn. Yeah. From Damascus. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Try again. All right. So that's plus. What's his dex? What's this your dex, hit. sir? This is gonna hit. I fucking swear. Twelve. Twelve fails her save. Yeah, get <laughs> <It> disintegrated. <laughs> so that is ten d six plus forty damage, and for that, I am breaking out my fucking shadow run dice because that's the yes. only dice that I have that many d sixes for. Ten d six. Oh my god. Hey, hey, four, okay. Five, Jess, quick ask. Yeah. Uh, because we woke up kind of right before this session. Um, can I quickly roll now that it's not important? Uh, my wheel or woe, so I know which one that I have. You didn't you do that before in uh, our last game? I I don't think so because I didn't need to use it at all. Okay, yeah, go for it. 15, 19, 20, 26. Okay, so I rolled odd. So I have woe. Okay, I, I'm I'm asking now so that it's not affecting the roll because I, I did like I didn't know which one I had, you know. Yeah. Uh, that's 74. I believe it's force damage. Yeah. 74 force damage. Oh. That is a ton. You. She. So explain. What does this look like? So Faza is just. Her eyes turn jet black. And this dark energy just starts channeling up within her that's just tinged a little bit with orange, which is bizarre and strange and never happened before. Um, And she just unleashes this massive beam of dark energy. And you see the creature just kind of give it like a... (laughs) As he goes to move his sword up, and Damascus Mm -hmm. just goes... I'm telling you. Wrong accent. I'm telling you, all you need to do is you need to go and you need to show that girl the time of her life. But and he's like, wait, what? Yeah. And that momentary distraction is enough to slow him down. And it just blasts him right in the face. And he takes 74 <laughs> fucking damage. And it's intense. I'm, you know what? You see his crown disintegrate off his head. <gasps> Get wrecked. Uh, yeah. Gilly. Okay. Um, so I'm all in close now. First off, I did forget to do my tentacle last time, so we're gonna summon my tentacle. A oh, spectral Gilly, tentacle. Before appears. you start, yes, ma'am. My bad. Um, I need you to make a save for me because he Uh-oh. is within twenty feet of you. Oh, uh, no. I need a wisdom saving throw. Okay. I only have plus two to... Uh, okay, uh, how's a nine? How's a nine sounding? Okay, so... I mean, up close, this guy is... This guy is terrifying. I mean, he was, he was terrifying when he came out of the lava, but up close, you know that if he just touches you, your skin's peeling off. And... It's terrifying. You are... You are frightened. So... No. You, um... You're scared of him. You ha- you have the ability to redo this at the end of like, um, your next turns and stuff like that, or at the start of your next turn. But right now you're frightened, so that means that uh, you have disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls. Uh, and if it's if the source of your fear was in line of sight, uh, you can't m- willingly move towards it. Okay. Well, hey, I'm close enough to do stuff already. Mm-hmm. Ah, actually, guys, fuck this. 
I don't <laughs> like this anymore. I will summon my tentacle. My tentacle is my emotional support tentacle. It makes me feel better. Um, do I have to? I don't have to roll anything for that. But then it can attack. Okay. So then that's what's my modifier plus five. Okay. So the tentacle is gonna try to slap at the guy. It's gonna miss. So your that, tentacle just is for flavor. Too. There's a tentacle. <laughs> wa- <laughs> there's a tentacle waving around. Um. You went to and go then, and like have him hit it, have your tentacle hit him, and he was, and your tentacle was like, "No, thank you." <laughs> actually, yeah, thank you. I actually, <laughs> actually, no. Tentacle okay, and we're gonna it. try, we're gonna try a water spell just to see if that it feels like it should do something extra, right? So we're gonna do water blast. Gilly is so afraid and freaked out that her warlock shit kicks in and apparently she can blast something with water. That's something that she's learning for the first time. It's very exciting. Also a little scary. Um, I conjure a giant ball of water and I throw it at this pit fiend. Um, range spell attack. Will be... Okay. okay. Do that. Okay. What? Could you always do that? That's, that's winter. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Get Maybe I've never been scared enough. Maybe I could have done this when I was a kid. I don't know. Uh, that is a 19 plus 5. 24. To hit. Hits. Huzzah! I've done something. Okay, 3d6 bludgeoning damage. You need the glass <sighs> smash after that. Am I... What? Huzzah! Smash the glass. Huzzah! Uh, uh, okay. So, 6, 7... Plus four is 11 damage, but it's water damage. damage. Does that do anything? It does not do anything extra. It, but it, it does, does do not damage. Have, he does not. Oh, oh, water damage is, uh, that's cold, isn't it? That's cold damage. It's probably bludgeoning. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's bludgeoning damage. <laughs> okay. So that'll do, that'll do full damage then. Anything oh, else that's how much, much was that? more watery? 11. 11. Okay, cool. Very cute. And then I'll just go again with that because that seemed fun. Actually, wait, I had another thing that. Okay, so I can't willingly move towards him. Can I willingly use a spell that would potentially pull him towards me? I feel no. like that could. Yeah. No, you don't want him close to you. That's such a good spell, though. Okay. Instead, we're going to try my necromancy one, because that sounds fun. We're using all my magic. Um, So I'm going to create a ghostly skeletal hand that just kind of grabs onto him. Maybe. No, never mind. The ghostly skeletal hand wavers around and then just kind of fizzles it just softly caresses him and then burns up as doing so (laughs) just tries to like slap (laughs) but he's so big he's so big okay uh Uh, i need that save from you Uh, what kind of save is it again remind me it's a wisdom saving throw no problem cool that's awesome plus two remember to add winter's Uh, bonus you're within five feet that's true. Mm. Uh, this is a 17 pass. No. Um, I'm lucky. So I'm going to... Yeah, go ahead. Hang on. Let me see if I burned them all last time. I might have. I did. God damn it. Mm. Uh, one second. One second. Do I have anything to do? I don't think that I do. I'm looking for shenanigans. Nope. I do not. I'm guessing I fail him. Yeah, you're frightened. Okay. Cool, cool. We're frightened together. I don't need to go anywhere. I can still attack him with disadvantage, right? He's right in front of my face. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's fine, then. I'll do that. I'm gonna... And I've still got Hex on him. I've been taking any damage. So I'm gonna just hit him. With a uh, spell off the blade. Let's go. 
I hit him real hard. One big attack. Don't okay. fight me. Oh, disadvantage. Uh, hey, the lower one. This is six. Does a 16 hit him? No. God damn it. Okay. Is that your turn? Uh, I have a bonus action. Let me see if there's anything I can do with a bonus action. Ugh. I will... I don't like this. I'm gonna Hexblade curse him. Okay. On top of the Radiant? Yeah. So that hopefully next round when I hit him, it'll do something. So okay. it'll do an extra four damage, and I crit on a 19 or 20 now. Okay. That's my turn. Nice. Winter? Winter is going to attack. <laughs> That's because I was debating... Oh, do the save for me. Sorry. Um, Winter is immune to the frightened condition. Ooh. Wait. Then it never mind. Nice. What kind <clears throat> of paladin is Winter? So, uh... He, He's wh- a what, sun what seraphim. Kind of yeah. He has aura of courage. Paladins at level 10, any creatures within 10 feet of him can't be frightened. Oh, what? Features and traits. Listen, if you don't know how to play your own fucking characters, it's not my job. Okay? <laughs> no, well, true. I do, and I just remembered. At level 10, all paladins get aura of courage. Oh you and friendly creatures within 10 feet of you can't be frightened while you are conscious. So well, that next time he's going to give us a hell of a peck talk, and we're going to feel so much better about the whole situation. <laughs> Yes. He'll talk to you afterwards. <laughs> I mean, I, well, actually, you know what? What, what don't I flavor it this way? Um, instead of attacking, because what I was thinking about doing for him was utilizing something that he almost never does, which is his action, um, uh, his son Seraphim, third level of Radiant Soul. So once per long rest as an action, you can transform. So he does. He gains glimmering eyes and two incorporeal wings. And uh, for one minute or until you end it as a bonus action, you have a flying speed of 30 feet. And once per turn, you can have one attacker spell deal uh, 12 additional radiant damage to one target. And then he's going to... So he's going to flare into this beautiful sun seraphim form. And in doing so, remember that he has an aura to protect you from fear. <laughs> and uh, he's instead of attacking, he's going to just put a hand on both of your shoulders... And uh, Alewin is also within 10 feet, but she's the only other one. So uh, he'll lay it on both your shoulder, Damascus, and your shoulder, Gilly, and say something positive, like, we got this. (laughs) Or something, you know? All right, is that his turn? That is his turn, because paladins and bonus actions are not friends. It's Alewin's turn, but he will skip her until she gets back. He said she wants to cast haste on whoever needs it. She said that in okay. chat. Oh. So who wants haste from Alewin? Hmm. The non-frightened Gilly might. Yeah. I don't know. I already can reach, unless he like moves away, I don't think I need speed necessarily. It gives you an extra Does attack. Does anybody need speed? It gives you an extra gives attack. You an extra attack and two Ooh. more AC. And you probably hit not hard. bad. <laughs> yeah, give it to Gilly. Sounds good. Okay. So then she casts haste. <laughs> we will go to Renanel, who gets yelled at by the cunning again to just stay over there. You've done enough. Um, Arev get, is getting over the very Inuyasha moment of sit. <laughs> As when I just to the yeah. floor. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. Arev is going to back up. Actually, he's gonna go. Can I step like onto the throne here? Yeah. So he backs up and tries to get like the the height sort of advantage. He's he just takes a couple steps backward, never like taking his eyes off of the pit fiend. And he's going to try and do the same thing that he did last time. So um, he's going to, once again, use his archer bonus action first, followed by a guiding bolt to try and help out whoever's next. So let's get some dice rolled in. Oh, uh, that is, those are nice. Okay, so uh, that's like a third D. 
30 to hit? A 30 will hit. Yeah, it's uh yeah, it's a 30 to hit and a 27 to hit. Both hit. Perfect. Okay, so uh it's the bonus action first. So get some dice. Get some dice. Do whatever the dice want to do. Uh, so 10 radiant damage from the first one, followed by... Nine from the second. So that's 19 points of radiant damage from a rev. Okay. And another burned feature from the guiding bolts. And we're good to go. That's his whole turn. All right. Next it is our pit fiend, and he's had enough of being hit since he's 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 looking like he's starting to go get a little rough. Um, and he's gonna he's gonna just unleash a fuck ton of attacks on the people in front of him. Which oh, good. I mean, let's see here: Damascus, Gilly. Yeah, he's gonna hit. He's gonna hit all of you guys. Um, right up off the bat. Uh, Damascus, you, uh, the 30 is going to hit you. Shit. Um, even if I cast shield, that doesn't do a thing. Uh, that's 24 piercing damage. Uh, then I need you to make a constitution saving throw. DC 21. Oh. As he smacks you upside the head with his mace. Or sorry, not his mace. He bites you. My bad. Speed plus winter is a oh, uncivilized. Fifteen plus nineteen. Nineteen plus five is twenty-four. Twenty-four. Okay, you, cool. You're good. You're fine. So at least you're not poisoned. Yeah. Then he's going to swipe out at Gilly and uh, hit her with his claw for a thirty-three. Yeah, that'll hit. Yeah, uh, for fifteen damage. Okay. 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 Then he's gonna grab his mace and I mean what's his name? Wait, 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 hold on. Hold on. I get a reaction to being You have a reaction. Okay. I do. I can cast Hellish Rebuke on this motherfucker. That's fire damage. Yeah. (laughs) It's not gonna do anything. But it's 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 is he immune to fire damage? Yes. Okay, he never mind. Wait. Of a fucking lava pit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe um. it was half. Maybe it was half. Wait, I have one other thing that I can do as a reaction that I think is okay. not as good. What was it? Unstable backlash. I can do the wild magic table again. Okay. Let's do that. Where is the wild table? There we go. Please hold. So now... Whenever a creature hits me with an attack before my rage ends, the creature takes 1d6 force damage in retribution. Ha ha! Okay. So now uh, that happens. Then he takes his mace and he... One goes... damage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your 15 there. might be halved because you're raging, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait, what kind of damage was it? It's uh, It was slashing. Okay, yeah. I think I'm resistant to that. Yeah. So, uh, 15 not, does not hit himself, Winter, though. Seven no, 15 does not hit Winter. So he misses reaching <clears throat> for for Winter. But then he turns around and he uh, he whips uh, Damascus again with his tail. I was trying to help you. 31. 31 hits. <laughs> he didn't like it, okay? And that's 18 damage. Last time I tried to help you, Jeff. Sure. He just screams in your face. <laughs> hurt people, uh, hurt people. Uh, all of that damage was slashing, right, Jess? Not fire? No. Not for not for that. That one was um that was oh my god! The fucking wind smell! God damn! Uh, the person above us just I'm suffocating. Fun. Not uh, not good. Bludgeoning oh. for that last one. The mace was fire damage. It did not hit. If, okay. No, it was bludgeoning, and if it had hit, it would be, yeah, plus fire damage as well. Okay. Uh, just be, an, another aura that Winter has, just for those who are standing beside him, uh, is the uh, Sun's Warmth aura from being a 7th level Sun Seraphim Oath. Uh, so you have resistance to fire damage as well, as long as you're close to him. Nice. Oh, cool, cool. Very cool. 
Uh, that's Andy. his turn. Mm-hmm. And then it is Vistrixen's turn. And Vistrixen is, I mean, you guys are fine. No, he's not going to leave. He's His husband is in danger. He's going to run over here and up beside you guys. And he's going to start smashing uh, with his mace. Because he can make at least two attacks. Let's see. Uh, 24 hits and a 17 does not. So he takes two big, like, big wind-up strikes. The first one hits, and then by that time, Zuzzle gets his hand up and just grabs the mace. And he's like, well, I should have stayed back there. Um, and he doesn't even do that much damage, but he does hit. So we're fine. He does some. He he helped is what he's Every saying. Every little bit counts. Yeah, Fiza. Fiza will to do cast. Uh, I'll try and hurt him. She's gonna cast psychic lance at him, and we're gonna go. That was good. I'll just do fourth level. Uh, that is an intelligent saving throw. She's hoping this guy is not smart. <laughs> okay. And you know what? She's going to quick install it to make it okay. faster. Yeah. Make it a bonus action. So saving throw. Can... Yeah. He's not dumb, but it doesn't help if you roll a six. So uh, he has just. Oh, he can do it. Yeah. Why would you remind me? Because I like playing fair. Okay, well, then it's an 18, so he d- he's still not rolling great. Uh, 18. Her spell save is 17. Uh, oh, I that's... haven't used my reaction this round. Silvery barbs. Okay, so he rolls again. 25. God damn it. Never mind. He's not dumb. He has a plus six to intelligence. Well, shit. Uh, let me see if there's half damage on that. Yeah, still takes half damage. I forget what you were hitting him with now. Psychic Lance. There we go. Psychic okay. Lance. So it's psychic okay. damage. Okay. It's 12, 5, 10, 22, 26, have to 13. Uh, halved again. Okay, so that's six. Oh, no, wait. Like Just because you have... Okay, magic resistance does not give you resistance on damage. That's no, just one of the things he just... He doesn't... Okay, so it's 13. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. okay. Then, Every yeah. time I see it written out without reading what it does, I'm like, oh, okay. But I know uh, better. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. And then as an action, she's going to lich slap him. She's going to lich slap him, okay. For 17? 17 does not hit. Okay. The spectral hand comes out and just tries to slap him, and he just hits him on the arm, and he doesn't even flinch. Ah, that's what happens to the, the hand. is just like, ah! This is... 100%. Uh, Gilly. <clears throat> okay. Make me a wisdom saving throw. Oh, you can't be. You guys are right. You guys are right there. Which yeah. means you're immune? Yes, never mind. Go, go. I am not afraid. I'm going to do the Home Alone guy thing. I'm not afraid anymore. I'm not afraid anymore. I'm not afraid anymore. And, oh, first of all, tentacle. Whap. What? That's a, wait. I guess I have to make an attack with that, I think. Yes, okay, wait. So tentacle. Never mind. Tentacle is just tentacle waiting around. Tentacle's still afraid, okay? You're, you tentacle is your tentacle to hit. Shivery. And tentacle's like, No! You swear you can almost hear it. (laughs) However, Gilly, not afraid anymore, and (laughs) sprouts three fucking water tentacles all around (laughs) from her body. We got tentacles now, and they're gonna grapple. So, this dude needs to make a strength saving throw. He has disadvantage on these now. Excellent. Um, that's so what I like that to hear. Oh, that's a bad roll. That's good. Okay, so 11. Yay! He fails. Okay, he so fails. he's restrained. He's restrained. Okay. Yes. 
Um, do we get like advantage on attacks if he's restrained? Mm-hmm. Dunk. Okay. Dunk. <laughs> <laughs> In that case, I'm going to hit him with my big fork. Okay. That's. It doesn't 18 hit? It does not. Dang it. Okay. But I can do it again, right? Because I got haste. Yep. Thank you, Elaylin. <laughs> uh Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. 22 to hit. That hits. Excellent. And then, okay. I've got to add up all of the damage because he's a fiend, so I get an extra d6. I'm going to do... Tidal Surge, so I get an extra 2d6 on top of that. I think that's all the... Okay. I'm adding up all of my dice. Hold on. Six plus... Okay. Okay. Cool. We got 11 plus 11. So, wait, no, that's to the plus 7. 11 plus 7 is 18. 18. So 18, piercing damage, and then the tidal surge thingy does some sort of lightning thing, right? No, that was the extra 2d6. So part of that is lightning damage. I don't know if that matters. Okay. Is that everything? So 18. And it doesn't do a ton of damage, but it looks cool, I feel, in my soul. <laughs> yeah, you like you like uh-huh. bitch slap him across the face. Yeah. It, it was one of those, like, you know, I challenged you to a duel. And he's uh, all wrapped up in ethereal and he's all wrapped up tentacles. Which like, I'd imagine he doesn't enjoy. Well. Even though he just stole someone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is that your turn? Yes. <laughs> Damascus. Okay. Damascus is so annoyed with just everything. This He's attacked this guy twice now. It hasn't done shit. He's tied up. He is cursed and hexed. And he's like, all right, enough of this shit. Um, I am going to cast... Where is it? Because I'm up casting this shit. Um... It's here somewhere. Hang on. Sorry. Where did it go? Branding Smite. There it is. I have Branding Smite. It's the only Smite that I got. Uh, okay. Higher levels, extra damage increases. So basically, it's an extra D6. It's a bonus action. Uh, next time I hit a creature with a weapon attack, it's an extra D6 of damage. Beautiful. I'm casting. What kind of level. damage? Radiant. Okay. So. I'm casting that at 5th level. So the next time I hit somebody, it's going to be an extra 5d6 of damage. Then I'm going to try and hit him with Belloc's Brilliant Blade. Okay. Again. I get better hit this time. And I have an advantage because he's restrained. Uh, okay, I was really hoping for a nat 20 there, but I didn't. Uh, 26. 26 hits. Okay. And then I'm going to pump that with my once per day divine smite. So that's another 3d8. Okay. So that is going to be, and that's radiant. So that is going to be, uh, do we are level 11. So that is. Get him, Damascus. 2d8, 3d8. So I have to do math. He's feeling really 3D8. emasculated right now. So. 5d8. <laughs> 5d8, 5d6, and a d8 for my sword, regular sword. Does it all, does he have resistance to anything or like? Uh Uh-huh, a bunch of stuff. Is Radiant one of those stuffs? No. Cool, so I'll just roll it all together. So that's 68 plus 5d6 plus 4 for, oh no, plus fucking hex. Plus another d6 for hex. (laughs) Hot damn. Sorry. Just watch just scribbling. She's like, and adds 400 <laughs> HP. <laughs> I have never done that to you guys. 66. I wouldn't blame you if you did. We can Nova pretty hard when we go off. You can. You can. And there there may be like 
times where it happens in the future, it, depending on like how how like high up you are. I haven't had to yet. You guys, you guys can cause some fucking flight. damage. Look, in one of my home games, I thought one thousand HP was like a high benchmark, and they still beat it in two turns. <laughs> Sounds high to me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah. didn't even. They don't even have homebrewed shit. They were all just oh, doing rules as written thing. There were five. I can of them. physically hear Dan like when my rogue hits and gets a nat twenty right off the bat, and I'm like, "Oh, that's three hundred hit points," and he's like, "I can just hear him go six <laughs> hundred. <laughs> Never. Yeah. We're like level eighteen too, so <laughs> like, hang on, wait, I can add stuff." So much damage for rogues. I have I've level 18. I have a special weapon. You know what I mean? Like, I I can smite once too. And I'm an arcane trickster, which means I can always do the I cast, I cast uh whatever. Um booming blade. Oh, and my mm. special weapon lets me hit twice. So I can make a second attack. Not to mention. It has extra stuff added in. He did it. He did a dumb. Okay, he gave me the ability, my sword, the ability to absorb other swords' powers. So I, every time I kill someone, it's like, yes. What can this do? That's I nice. want to be your rogue. <laughs> yes, sixty-seven damage. Sixty-seven damage. Nice. Ooh. Okay. On one hit. He's he's looking. He's looking pretty rough. Yeah. Looking pretty rough. He's getting there. Uh, but that's my whole turn. Uh, my movement, I flourish my cape. You flourish your cape. Get that extra two hit point or two HP. You you can see it on his face. I mean, he's still hurt, but he thinks that's the dumbest thing he's ever seen. Can't hit me now. I'm moving too fast. <laughs> uh, Winter. Winter, with his newfound flying speed, is going to begin to fly <clears throat> just above Damascus. Um, so he's about five feet up. So they still benefit from their aura, but he's above. And he's going to basically get eye level with this thing as ice starts crackling along his shoulders and down the, the haft of the hammer. And he's just going to point the flat of the hammer straight in his face, grip it with both and do like a start to do sort of like, like a cyclone swing where he like brings it around frost trailing in the air. As he, As he does attacks. that, you see Vistrix would like have to hit the ground because he always hits him with it. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, roll the 13 and 11 plus his attack bonuses, which that's uh, a 23 and a 21 to hit. Both hit. Ooh. Uh, smite, 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 smite. Oh, smite, smite. He's, he's gonna smite again for sure. In tip. Um, <laughs> you know. Let's. How important are my second level spells? Go bigger. I, st I, I still have third level Sorry. spells after that. So oh. let's let's just get rid of the rest of my second level spell slots. We're just gonna burn straight through them. So that yeah. would be an um so that's 2d10 plus 2d8 for the attacks, um, plus 12, and then plus an additional 8d8 on top. So that's 10d8 and 2d10. Plus the 12 from my Radiant Soul effect. Plus 12. So plus 24 total. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Okay, hang on. Let's let's do some math. So it's really cute thought. that you're like, that many dice is so much dice. And I'm like, <laughs> here's my <laughs> here's my 20d10 when I or D D6 when I roll a crit. I'm just I'm definitely I'm getting used to it. I'm like it's a, cute. Rev, a rev doesn't roll this many dice. <laughs> when I when I first started, when I first started playing, you can hear me like we haven't recorded where I got like I got my first crit and I was like, I get to roll two D8? That's so <laughs> many dice. That's so many dice. <laughs> you were level two. Relative. You rolled a D6, a D eight plus your thing, and you rolled like 14 damage. You're like, whoa. Mm hmm so much okay. damage sure. everybody was like yeah that's so much and we're like brand new children here <laughs> that's great i was like i will be a rogue forever <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Okay, so uh, it's 32 to start off. DM. 32 plus 39, 40, 44, 48, 51, 56, and then two more. Oh, okay. Uh, That's 68 points of damage. Oh, what does it look like as you murder him? Winter. So how does uh, he do this? As winter starts swinging, the, the, the radiant soul um, that starts flaring off, it, it is part of his oath of the sun seraphim. But any oath is just an extension of who you are at your core, right? And who he is at his core is the god of winter. And as he starts swinging uh, Vitor's forge hammer through the air, he begins to literally strike at the air in this rift. And as he's doing so, he builds sort of this frost arc, this r- solid ring of ice around him that he's just slamming this hammer into and forging into this sort of like r- ring of ice. And then as he does that, he cracks it into several ice like discs. And he just smacks the hammer into each one, arcing, like, through the air. One, two, three, four, five, six, like, eight of them, like, represented off of the the eight dice from the the Divine Smites. And then as they all sort of slice through the sides of this demon's face, you know, like, leaving ridges that are frozen instead of bleeding, like, across his face, this demon feeling frost on his skin for probably the first time in his entire life. And, like just as his eyes come back around to look at winter whose eyes are glowing with this intense frosty ice white glare no pupils left just intensity and cold the hammer itself comes crashing down straight through the eyes leaving nothing left of the consciousness epicness epic epic okay i mean you're out of combat that was fucking epic um so I'm going to give you guys some stuff because, I mean, it's a pretty big fight. Let's see. You got some loot. Uh, Damascus. Yes. You learn Gift of Gap. Hey. Uh, Oh, because I talked so good in that that, that thing. (laughs) There you go. It makes sense. Winter's going to get an amulet of minor speed. Uh, Faze is going to get a locket of night. And I'll post all this for you. Uh, Alewin, you get an amulet of the Courageous Lion, which is, when you're wearing this, you have advantage on saving throws against being frightened. Um, Arev, you get a Ring of Helping Hands, which uh, whenever the wearer casts a healing spell, the amount done uh, is uh, increased by their proficiency, I believe. And, like, I'll add this all. And then, um, Gilly, you find a you find a potion of speed as well as a wand of slinging tomatoes. Oh my God. <laughs> I thought you'd like that one a lot. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, and I think we'll take a quick five minute break <laughs> and get back into it. I'll post all your stuff in the chat for you. We will be back in five minutes, everyone. See you. Hi everybody. We are back from our break unfortunately we are having some internet issues right now so um what we're going to do is just get the our party to a safe spot and then we will continue next week um so you're i'm not going to like rush you to this but like you're out of combat uh what does everyone do (sighs) well how do we feel about our approach to solving domestic conflicts? Does it feel a bit too violent? <laughs> I'm not sure uh, about it. <laughs> Arev walks up to you, still glittering. He goes, I could use some work. <laughs> I tried to give him advice and to try and work, help him work through the problem, but sometimes if you ain't open to constructive criticism, you're going to get stuck in patterns of behavior that are just repetitive and self-harming or that result in others harming you, as the case well, may be. You had to set a boundary. <laughs> I He's set always boundary been rather at... a hothead. But you know, I use <laughs> press the digitation to make a 
crib shot. No, Damascus, everybody who hasn't listened to you's worst mistake was not listening to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, Alaywin is not saying if him. he is. Uh, she didn't stay that. around for this little bit of conversation. She, like once everything ended, she goes like immediately over to like Renanel. So you guys are powwowing over there. Okay, and she's checking up on on Renanel and uh, making sure that they're okay. <laughs> so you guys are all talking yourselves up. Uh, you walk over to him. He's been pretty violently manhandled today as well as like when he's like i'll help fight getting thrown backwards like no yeah is he uh on the ground or is he standing up he's leaning against the throne okay um she will like reach out her arm like like prom style and is like you know this he is not it. what I what I mean by like you getting out of the house a little bit more frequently, and this doesn't really bode well for uh, getting you out. And then she shifts like a glare at Vic Strixen briefly <laughs> as she's like helping Renanel, kind of I guess towards where the the, the, the party is. is. Yeah, powwowing. He's he's got his. He takes your arm. He's like, mm, I can never please you. Always something, hmm? Me? He's Me. very... He's got a very soft smile on it. Like, he's... he's. You've really won your way into his heart. So when you came and you gave him his arm, like, without hesitation, he takes he takes it. And you know that Renanel is, like... He's timid. He doesn't do that with everyone. So for him to give you that trust and and to play with you is just like a, a sign of like how much he actually cares <laughs> it's fine. everything it's fine everybody it's fine it's fine um, as, as they're getting closer to like the party and like closer to Vic, Strix- Vic Strixen and everybody she's gonna like um pat on Renanel's arm and be like, well, naturally the only solution is that Renanel comes with us. And then she's going to glance at the rest of the party as well. Because she's serious. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, come, come, comes with us where exactly? Where, wherever we go. Naturally. Uh, what, I, like back to Iowan, you mean? Yes. No, you see him, he's, I can't do that. I'd never leave the Strixen. And uh, the Strixen like comes up. Grip. You tighten your grip. The Strixen comes up, puts an arm around him, gives him a kiss in the forehead. It's very tender. Um, and and looks at you, uh, Alewin, and goes, It had been before, Rathanel. <laughs> he just shrugs. Like, there's not much I could have done there. <laughs> okay, all right, oh, fine. I get it now. Uh, Arev mm-hmm. approaches um, Renanel and says, you know, it's not a half bad idea anyways. Think of it like a vacation? Like that? You know, like that time we... Oh. No, you didn't like that very much. Never mind. <laughs> it's pretty Never great. Mind. Mind. Not Things like are not up on fire, like hardly at all. You, the you guys, coming and standing around him and like doing this. You, you see him, uh, very like start leaning into Vistrixen. Start getting like nervous. Lewin like. Pats again a little bit <laughs> and uh, like releases his arm and like <laughs> takes a little bit of a step back. You know, his hand immediately kind of comes up and grabs onto like uh, Vistrixen's shirt, like the bottom of it to hold onto it and just. Well, uh, why don't we get out of here? Absolutely. I'm sure say. the heat isn't great for you. And he takes off a bracelet and tosses it onto the floor and a portal opens up and begins to like start sucking you guys through it. Not again. (laughs) And and, and as I start to get like pulled forward, I just cast one last look over to Renanel and 
fix tricks in and call back. You know, you could always both just come with us and then. Did I do that? And then he's he's through with you guys. Uh, Dexterity saving throws to see uh, if you land on your feet. The fall on your ass check. File on your ass check. That that really. <laughs> Nat one. Nat twenty. Nineteen. Is pass does, pass pass. Does winter count as close to me? <laughs> <laughs> you grab onto him as you're going through. He goes with you. Grab onto him and like I, from one glittery boy to another, I look at him and go, "Isn't that my thing?" And just like, and you don't have to make that check because he's still flying and <laughs> catches himself. Oh, thank God! And, le- and puts you to the ground. I don't think a 16 would have done much. Sharing is caring. I got a 15 yeah, passed. Yeah, no, no, it passed. 16 passes. Oh, well, it's because it's of winter. Cat like reflexes. Um, you appear somewhere in Narak in in the darkness. Um, it looks like it's night. It's very hard to see where this place is right now. Um, even with your dark vision, you don't see far. Okay. Um there's a giant obsidian wall beside you that just kind of stretches off into each direction as far as you can see right now um you are you're are you're at a city called the nether hive it's a very big city and restriction will look at you and go perhaps we should uh, we should bed down for the night before going in there is there more Demon things we're gonna have to kill. There's a giant city of them. Right, but how, how many of them have you slept with their spouses? <laughs> a handful. But I'm more worried about you attracting attention and not being able to per- protect yourself. That's a good point. Man. We oh, do I stand know. out. We are very pretty. Historically, we're so charming, though. We never make anybody mad. That's true. Never. I mean, um, I, I do believe we... it is Gilly that has our. You you have a scroll of magic man magic mansion, or right magnificent mansion. Mm-hmm. I I have I have a something of magnificent mansion, a a wand a wand of magnificent mansion. I think for my loot. <laughs> Sorry, I just gotta go find it. Because yes. <laughs> Sorry, I've had. A... <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to keep that in all shit. Um, all shift. All shift. I'm working right now. All game. Um, uh, I've had that cough for a few days, and it's not fun. And before my fellow players look at me, I got better. I went to the doctor. I got medication, and now it's back. So, so hey, go I back. can't say anything. I've been right, coughing for like a month. Yeah. So I'm just saying that. Uh, I couldn't. Uh, I'm. Was it you that had it? Didn't I, we? Didn't you guys give the scroll to your your uh your wizard to? Copy? Oh, I have the scroll. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I took the scroll so I could learn the scroll. So we're not using that scroll, everybody. <laughs> I was gonna yeah. say you probably <laughs> copied it that night. No, oh, a, okay, bet amazing. <laughs> I, I have a I have a wand of magnificent mansion. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. I, I got it from Squirrel is something. You've got different. options. Uh, Hold on. Did you buy Let it? Me go to I'm my totally inventory. No, it was a part of the loot from um uh, two or three sessions ago. Um Oh, and... I have a scroll of private sanctum. Uh... okay, okay. You have that somebody has the magic mention. I'm just gonna say that it has been cast. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it has been cast. It's like you guys aren't getting that scroll. <laughs> and yeah, I... You guys can enter into your mansion for the night. Cool. Does that take well, me a whole week nice. to design it? You can design it. <laughs> We're standing um, around waiting for a rat, like he's clicking little just like knobs thinking and about things on the wand and like yeah, putting to, it together. <laughs> trying to get it, trying to get it exactly right. Do you mm-hmm. want to say what it looks like? Well, what I'll say is like as I zap it down, a door appears in the, the space in front of us, except it's a set of double doors. 
that are made out of birch wood uh, interlaid with silver twining, um, like decal and, and glasswork handles. The fucking wedding cathedral. Amazing. <laughs> Surprise, everybody! <Hey. laughs> We're going to the chapel. Uh, ost- ostentatiously beautiful is is the what what the doors look like. We're here for it. Um, you guys will head in and we'll pick it up next week from that and you guys can do whatever you want that night um and we will see you guys tomorrow and next week for this game uh hopefully with the internet fixed um yeah i i see stars and i have been your shenanigan sovereign uh james i'm i play as stars and i have been our circle of stars druid uh, just kidding. But like, I'm Mazrix or Mazrix24, pretty much through the internet. Thanks for hanging out with us. Good time. Hang out with us more on our Discord. Uh, there'll be a link in chat. Um, that's it. That's all. That's all I got. Dan. That's me. I'm Dan. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Dan. You can find me as the Speed of Candy on all the various internet places. I have been Damascus Silver, the half elf bod warlock who is just real glad he at least got to hit that stupid giant fire monster at least once. Because honestly, honestly, and then I roll in that 20 to not fall on my ass as I go through a portal. Not that I'm mad. That 67 damage could have been doubled. Anyways. So sorry for you. I, you should be. Um, Let's go to uh, Caro. Oh, did you say me? <laughs> it's sorry. me. Hello, Caro. <laughs> I'm chewing. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I do this every time. <laughs> I have been Gilly Ghislaine, who's very excited to have used a bunch of magic things, even though they weren't hey. particularly effective. Uh, That's I how it goes, a... though, man. That is how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> First time for everything. Uh, I am Imaginary Caro and sometimes Corner Caro on the internet, and it's been great. Pyrea? Hello, everybody. I'm Pyrea. Uh, you can find me on socials as Pyrea. Uh, I was a Lewin Alanthus, the chronology wizard who feels that deeply in her soul about. I love. I'm a caster main, but it's like, oh, okay. My one really cool thing is not cool because it's, it's, it's done. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's that's me. Don't worry, right. the time is coming. Literally, we'll see you guys next week. Okay, I love you. Bye. 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 <laughs>